All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to walk you through one more Bohr model example so that you could really get the hang of this, make sure that you understand which I was doing, just to walk you through one more. And so this time we are going to use um, our element here. Um, we're going to be doing, let's look at magnesium. Okay, so you can find magnesium on the periodic table. And its element symbol is Mg. Now, from that, we know that its atomic number is 12, which means that magnesium has 12 electrons. Okay. Now, we know it's magnesium. It's got 12 electrons. We look at where it's located on the periodic table, and it's on the third row. So that means that it has three levels that we have to draw, okay? Now, in this particular case, I'm gonna show you a slight variation of how you can construct your Bohr model. So last time I had you just draw the nucleus as a little sphere, and this time, if you don't wanna do that, um, what you can do is you can just write the element sim symbol in the middle. And so now we need to construct, construct our energy levels. So we need three rings around magnesium. So we're going to do one, two, and then three, right? Because we got three energy levels. Now we got 12 electrons. And so just like before, we have to start by filling up the energy level that is closest to the nucleus, in this case, closest to our element symbol. So it's going to be our innermost ring. Now remember the innermost ring holds two electrons. So I'm gonna put two dots. Okay. Now that I've put, filled up that, I can move to the second energy level, which holds a maximum of eight electrons. So I can go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now again, I can't put any more electrons in that second energy level because the second energy can only hold eight. So I've filled up the first energy level. I've filled up the second energy level. Now I can fill, I can move into the third energy level and I'm gonna place the remaining electrons that I have there. Now remember magnesium has 12, we've already used 10. So I'm just gonna put one, two dots. Right? I can't put any more than that because magnesium doesn't have any more electrons. So we count those again. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 electrons. That matches up with what we have. We have them in 1, 2, 3 energy levels. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Bohr model for magnesium.